Well, in our prior segment, we were covering primarily the pre-shot routine. Now, in this particular segment, we're going to cover three elements of your game as you start to enter the actual shot. One is going to be the stance, one is going to be the bridge, and one is going to be the grip. So uh, these are critical elements of actually getting in position a proper way with balance and, and making sure that you have that firm foundation for your game. So let's start out basically understanding what the stance is all about. Uh, over the years, there have been all kinds of uh, philosophies and teaching techniques for the stance. Now, I'm kind of a firm believer in it. Whatever works for you and you're comfortable, that's the primary factor, being balanced on your feet. So let's illustrate actually two of the most popular types of stances for years. First of all, Years ago, the snooker players would basically take a front row approach, and you'll see some of the players today doing that that are from England or from Canada that were snooker players. They would chalk up behind the shot. They would actually approach the shot like this in a frontal position. Then they would turn their body and their torso like this, and they'd bring the cue stick back under their shoulder, and they would basically be in a situation like this. Either their chin is on the stick, or they might be up slightly. Now, the other more popular stance for years was the Moscone-style stance, where he would basically chalk up for the shot. He would take his 45-degree angle with his body to the cue stick in relation to the cue, and he would uh, have the cue pointed at the target. Then he would simply stand next to the cue stick to take his stance and either bending over to the stick with the chin or coming up like this. So there's a kind of two ends of a spectrum, two ends of a rainbow. You have the frontal approach, moving the cue back under the shoulder with your chin in any number of positions, and then you have the side position, which was more popular for years, and that basically was used by Moscone and a few of those players. So so you basically have the option of whatever makes you comfortable. You want to find an experiment. Experiment with the frontal position, experiment with the side position, or anywhere in between until you find that you're comfortable. Now one of the ways you'll know you're comfortable is when you bend over on a shot and you're actually down on the shot. You'll find a position where you just feel like that's it for you. So you want to be a little bit careful when people will tell you it has to be this way. It's really what has to be for you the way you feel comfortable. So when you're in that position, make sure you're balanced on both feet and make sure that when you swing your cue, it goes straight through to the target. Now, there's another part of this firm foundation that I want to cover. It has to do with basically dealing with the, the bridge. Uh, whenever you're dealing with the bridge, uh, you're going to form the hand on the table a couple of different ways in order in relation to the cue ball. One is you can place your hand on the table, and one of the more popular techniques for years, again, among the snooker players in particular, is uh, the open bridge. It's where you place your hand on the table, which is wide open, you bring your thumb up against the side of the index finger, right up to the top of that knuckle, spreading the fingers out. Make sure these fingers are spread out. That gives you the firm foundation right down against the table, kind of put a little pressure down. And with this little V that you form with your thumb, the cue stick sits right on that V, just like that. They call this the V bridge, the open bridge, or the tower bridge. So once again, the hands open on the table, the thumb comes up to form the V, the fingers are spread, the cue lays in the V, and that makes a nice, smooth, straight swing right through your target. And then the second bridge, which is also very popular, is the closed bridge. This is one that most of the professionals use, particularly when they have to shoot a little bit harder, like a draw shot, or they want to have a little bit more control in some cases for long shots. They make what's called the closed bridge. Now, the closed bridge is very easy to do. You start with your hand with a fist on the table. You make a loop with the index finger and the thumb and put the two of them right against each other. Just place the cue inside that loop and then spread the fingers out, and that gives you the foundation. So in other words, you have these fingers spread out. This finger here, you can sometimes move back underneath to still give you a foundation, but as long as you have a foundation, and basically the palm of your hand is just right against the table as well, and that gives you then that foundation. So once again, it's a fist, a loop, and a support. Fist, loop, support, and that's the closed bridge. And that's a very common bridge you'll see quite often by the professional players and hopefully that's something you'll be able to develop in your game. It's a little bit awkward to begin with, but once you get that, your game will go up because you have a little bit more accuracy in most cases. And then the final thing I want to talk about for your firm foundation is the grip, which is basically your backhand. So we'll, we'll move over here and we'll show you basically how the backhand is uh, placed on the cue stick in relation to the cue stick. If you, um, again, are in your position down the shot, uh, the backhand should basically be, as you look down at the shot, it should be held on the cue stick in a very light method. Now, as far as the position on the cue stick, you can have it anywhere from four to six inches behind the balance point, or you can hold it wherever you're comfortable with again. But generally speaking, you want to have your hand so that when in relation to the shoulder, it should be hanging pretty much straight down. This allows for a straight down movement. The thumb is straight down. 
and you're not, your hand is not back too far, which causes a seesaw motion, and it's not up too far where you also drop down. So you want to make sure that you have that nice, comfortable, straight down motion, and then as you swing, you want to pretend you're squeezing the Charmin or holding a, a bird in your hand with a nice, smooth swing without too, what they call a death grip. You don't want that death grip on your hand. Nice, smooth stroke. And if you do that, you'll have be a very comfortable when you approach your shot. Now, I want to just remind you that, again, for this foundation, you must have a comfortable balance in your stance. You must have a firm bridge, either closed or open. And you must have that nice, smooth grip, which is a fluent, what's called the fluency of your stroke. So if you remember those three elements of your foundation, you're going to play a much better game. So I hope you've enjoyed this CSI instructional tip.